the definition for an acid and the definition for a base have changed over time. Different systems describe acids and bases differently. We have already studied acids and bases using the Bronsted-Lowry theory, where a proton is transferred from the acid to the base to form a conjugate base and a conjugate acid. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor and a Bronsted-Lowry base a proton acceptor. Another way to understand acids and bases is by Lewis acid-base theory. In this definition of acids and bases, a pair of electrons are transferred. It is important to note that the term electron transfer generally refers to redox reactions, but electron pair transfer refers to bond formation by Lewis acid-base reactions. In Lewis acid-base theory, the species which possesses a pair of electrons and donates it is called a Lewis base. We often say the base donates or transfers its pair of electrons, but what we really mean is it shares them with another species to form a new bond. The species which accepts the pair of electrons, or rather shares it with the base, is called a Lewis acid. Lewis acids can accept the electron pair because they possess a vacant orbital. Lewis acids and bases can be inorganic or organic compounds. There is usually only one product in a Lewis acid-base reaction, except in some organic reactions. This product is called an adduct. In the adduct, a dative or coordinate covalent bond is formed. A coordinate covalent bond is a covalent bond where both electrons are supplied by the same species, in this case, the base. The properties of a coordinate covalent bond, that is bond length, bond strength, and reactivity, are the same as those of a normal covalent bond. Sometimes a species can act as both a Bronsted-Lowry acid or base and a Lewis acid or base. Here is an example. We have ammonia reacting with water. We often need to draw the Lewis structures of the reactants to figure out where the new bond is formed in the product. In this reaction, a proton is transferred from water to ammonia, leaving behind a hydroxide ion. Since ammonia accepts the proton, it is a Bronsted-Lowry base. At the same time, because ammonia bonds to the proton by sharing its lone pair of electrons, ammonia also acts as a Lewis base. Let's write out the equation as Lewis structures properly. This bond here is the new coordinate covalent bond formed. In fact, all Bronsted-Lowry bases are always also Lewis bases because they possess a pair of electrons to donate. However, not all Lewis bases are Bronsted-Lowry bases. Lewis bases do not necessarily always donate a pair of electrons to a proton, but can donate the electrons to another species to form a bond. For example, in this reaction, boron has an incomplete octet and so has a vacant orbital available to accept electrons. The cyclic ether donates one of its lone pairs to boron, and so the cyclic ether is a Lewis base. However, it does not accept a hydrogen ion or proton from borane, and so the cyclic ether is not a Bronsted-Lowry base. Then, since Bronsted-Lowry acids donate a proton to a species with an electron pair, Bronsted-Lowry acids are also Lewis acids, since the hydrogen ion from the acid can accept the electron pair. For example, hydrochloric acid, being a strong acid, dissociates fully in water into hydrogen ions or protons and chloride ions. When hydrochloric acid reacts with ammonia, the proton from the acid is donated to ammonia and so hydrochloric acid acts as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. Hydrochloric acid also acts as a Lewis acid, 
as the proton from the acid accepts and shares a pair of electrons from ammonia. But not all Lewis acids are Bronsted acids, since some Lewis acids do not donate protons. We can see that in this reaction. Aluminium in aluminium chloride has a vacant orbital and can accept a pair of electrons from chlorine to fill its octet. So aluminium chloride is a Lewis acid. But it has no protons to donate and so aluminium chloride is not a bronsted lowry acid. Summarizing the two acid base theories, we can see how Lewis acid base theory is a broader definition and that bronsted lowry acids and bases are a subset. Now let's practice a few more examples of identifying the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in a Lewis acid base reaction. Is this a Lewis acid base reaction or a bronsted lowry reaction? Well, no protons are transferred, so it is not a bronsted lowry reaction. Only one product is formed, and this is the new covalent bond. Where did the two electrons in the bond come from? They must have come from this lone pair on the fluoride ion, which means that the fluoride ion donated a lone pair of electrons. And so we can conclude it must be a Lewis base. Then boron in boron trifluoride accepted a lone pair of electrons because it has an incomplete octet and a vacant orbital. Therefore, boron trifluoride must be a Lewis acid. The new bond which formed is a coordinate covalent bond. This next example shows how a metal cation can act as a Lewis acid by accepting a lone pair from a Lewis base, in this case ammonia. The reaction of metal cations with electron-rich species is discussed further in another video. And finally, in this example, we can see that a pair of electrons from a pi bond rather than a lone pair can be donated, making cyclohexene a Lewis base in this reaction. This reaction is an organic reaction. Now let's investigate how Lewis acids and Lewis bases relate to organic chemistry in more depth. We have already learnt in organic chemistry about substitution reactions and addition reactions. Both these reaction types involve Lewis acids and Lewis bases. For example, here is a general equation for an SN2 or bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. The Lewis base donates its lone pair to a delta positive species of the Lewis acid and substitutes for X, which leaves. This is the nucleophile, R is the electrophile, and X is the leaving group. In organic reactions, Lewis bases are referred to as nucleophiles and Lewis acids as electrophiles. This is the adduct formed. Notice there are two products in this particular Lewis acid base reaction, as is the case with many such organic reactions. Again, there are many, many examples of organic reactions involving nucleophiles and electrophiles. Here is just one specific example of the general equation we looked at earlier. The nucleophile or electron-rich species is the hydroxide ion, and it acts as a Lewis base by donating a lone pair. The electrophile or electron-poor species is the carbon atom attached to the halogen on the halogenoalkane. It acts as a Lewis acid as it accepts the lone pair. Electrophiles are often represented as E+. Let's have a closer look at nucleophiles and electrophiles. Nucleophiles are electron-rich species that can donate a pair of electrons. Nucleophiles have an affinity for regions of low electron density. There are many types of nucleophiles. Some are negatively charged and some are neutral. Either way, they all possess a lone pair of electrons or a pi bond which they can donate to an electron deficient species or electrophile. Electrophiles are electron poor or electron deficient species. Electrophiles are attracted to regions of high electron density 
and can accept a pair of electrons. There are many types of electrophiles. They may be positively charged or neutral. When a molecule is neutral but one of the atoms has an incomplete octet, it acts as an electrophile or Lewis acid. For example, boron in boron trifluoride, phosphorus in phosphorus trichloride, and aluminium in aluminium trichloride all have vacant orbitals which can accept a pair of electrons. In a halogenoalkane, the carbon atom bonded to the halogen is an electrophilic carbon because it is electron deficient. Now let's summarize what we've learned. Lewis bases are electron pair donors. This includes donation of lone pairs or pi electrons. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors. The product in a Lewis acid base reaction is called an adduct and it possesses a coordinate covalent bond. All Bronsted Lowry bases are also Lewis bases. Lewis acids are not necessarily Bronsted Lowry acids. In organic reactions, Lewis bases are electron rich species called nucleophiles. And Lewis acids are electron deficient species called electrophiles.